Welcome to Manhasset Bay, one of my favorite boating destinations located on the north shore of Long Island. I'm Patrick Hopkins, and today I have the privilege of taking you aboard Nino, a 2018 Azimut 55S. We're going to start today's walkthrough on the bow. First, we have this forward-facing bench seat, which is very rare for a vessel of this size. Moving forward, we have this massive sun pad, which can seat a whole family, whether relaxing at anchorage or at the dock. All the way forward here on the bow, we have this vessel's ground tackle, complete with foot controls and even an anchor wash. Completing the space underneath this hatch is your access to the crew quarter. This space houses a Pullman bunk, a shower, a head, and is air-conditioned. Let's make our way aft down the starboard side deck. With teak underfoot, you'll notice the height of this stainless steel bow rail, keeping you comfortable and safe as you traverse back to the cockpit. The 55S sets the standard here on the swim platform. With the touch of a button, a dinghy garage is revealed that houses a Williams mini jet tender. When the tender garage is fully opened, it serves as the largest swim platform in class. Stepping up into the cockpit, the first thing I notice are these gorgeous stainless steel cleats accompanied by a stainless winch. My favorite feature as a former delivery captain is this joystick docking station, as well as a bow thruster control. You have a Volvo engine display, a Fusion remote for your stereo, and your battery switches. Also to starboard, we have this summer galley, complete with sink, grill, and an ice maker below. Complementing all the options you find back here, is this generous L-shaped settee with a high gloss table and this retractable awning that covers the entire cockpit. Complementing the ice maker to starboard is this cool box. And over here to port, we have our engine access. Nino is powered by triple IPS 600s. They push her along at a comfortable cruise speed of 24 knots. While well, you can tell the doors in their current position provide a seamless transition from the cockpit into the salon, Azimut has taken it one step further by taking these doors and allowing you to bring them all the way to the starboard side. This now opens up for an entire communal space between the cockpit and the salon. Not only is the cockpit seamlessly connected to the salon, but this theme continues as we walk back and see these oversized windows and this ample retractable hardtop that let the natural light pour in. In typical azimuth fashion, the materials used here are top notch. And what looks to be just storage is a full working galley with a four burner melee cooktop and a large single basin sink with a fiddled prep area. Starting aft moving forward in the galley, there is a freezer, melee microwave and convection oven, custom cutlery drawer, as well as a refrigerator. In the aft starboard section of the salon, we see what looks to be your normal pop-up TV. Yet in keeping with seamless transition between spaces, the TV can be viewed not only from the salon, but also swings to face the cockpit. To port, there's a U-shaped settee with a dinette. The materials here are uniform with the high standard we saw in the galley. As we arrive at the helm, we are reminded just how well optioned this vessel really is. Twin Raymarine multifunction displays, an autopilot, Raymarine repeater, a Seakeeper control, as well as your Volvo joystick and throttle controls. It is a natural feeling to want to see where you are going while underway. Rounding out the helm to port is this convertible forward-facing seating area. Now let's move down below and we'll explore the staterooms. A few steps down and immediately to starboard is our twin stateroom. There are two side-by-side -side bunks, a TV, a cedar line closet, and a sizable hull side window. Moving forward, we enter the VIP, 
A centerline queen berth is flanked by hull side windows and two cedar line closets. Also serving the VIP is this ensuite that doubles as your day head. As occasionally I like to do, we have saved the best for last. The master stateroom is a full beam stateroom. Six squares in the hull side window work together to create a picture window on either side. The offset Island Queen welcomes the owners after a day on the water. To port you will find a comfortable seating area that also serves as a desk. Her private ensuite is further complemented by the combination washer dryer. That wraps up a long day of shooting here in Manhasset Bay. Thank you so much for coming on this walkthrough aboard Nino with me. If you have any questions or you'd like to see her in person, feel free to contact me.